Hi, my lovely Taurus. Thank you all so much for joining me here, Taurus. This is going to be your daily reading, guys, for your general and love energies for the day, Taurus. Let us find out what is coming up for you guys, Taurus, so with some tarot cards for the day. Taurus, what is coming up? Oh my god, guys. A few cards just fell down. I will just pick them up. what is coming up guys Taurus we have oh my god you're being very very talkative today having a very busy day you're going to keep yourself busy so that you're not going to think about anything so you're just running around having a day but talking to too much people you might even find your other soulmate because you are interacting a lot with people you might find your soulmate or this is a sign from the universe that you need to move on from a certain kind of thoughts a certain feelings that has been bugging you for a long time okay uh, so let me pick out a few more cards guys Taurus so today is a very very busy day you're going off talking to a lot of people you're going to be running around also for a few of you you're going to concentrate on your looks for example you want to look good you want to feel good and i also feel like you are going to be cracking a lot of jokes or having a lot of fun with a lot and lot of people it's not just one or two uh even you might be connecting from with your old neighbor or you might be connecting with your old friends you can call them or talk to them or someone who didn't who actually stopped communicating with you or this person literally stopped uh, talking to you for some reason is going to come back into your life to talk to you guys okay also for a few of you i feel like the wheel of fortune this is beautiful guys okay so with the wheel of fortune this is all about your wishes are going to be fulfilled you're going to be very very happy for the place that you are at right now you are excited to move forward with your life this card is all about um, this is saying that all of your prayers have been answered all of the things that you wanted in your life you are going to get especially if it's like you wanted a job opportunity or you wanted something you're going to get that guys okay this is like a card of wish fulfillment so all of your wishes are going to be fulfilled and you do not have to worry really really soon okay so there was a betrayal this person betrayed you but they had a reason for doing this so let me find out what is the actual reason for this person to betray you what was the reason okay so this person has a terrible loss they had a terrible terrible loss earlier and this can be too too harsh on them that they didn't know that it would like they didn't even think about hurting others they were so so scared of the intensity that this connection had that they cheated on you because they really didn't feel like uh, they can get this going they felt so intense with you guys that they got very scared they they are very scared right now they're thinking oh my god what is going to happen to me like if this person leaves so this person is very scared that you will leave them and that is the main reason they cheated you i know it might sound crazy guys this person is going through a lot of side childhood issues and a lot of traumatic experiences from that uh, childhood if you can say below the dark we have devil card which represents addictions and it is all about this person has been through a lot literally in their life that they cannot resist the love for you right now it's just it's just uh, hurting them a lot they feel like you might leave them so it's just like i think you might leave me so i think i should cheat you before you leave me that is how this person thinks because everybody in their life literally left them and they think the same thing about you too so yes i hope you understand this is how it goes so yes guys this is all i can say here for you my lovely taurus now i will be just picking out cards for this person's feelings for you okay so for a few of you this person didn't cheat they are running away from you because they're scared of the intensity of this connection but for a few of you yes this person did cheat guys i'm very very sorry to say that 
Let me pick out a few more thoughts. How is this person thinking, that feeling, and their actions? Wow, they're very, very loyal to you. For a few of you, this person is very loyal. And for a few of you, this person cheated you. So there is both here, loyalty and for a few of you, this person cheated you, okay? So it's not just cheating. For everybody, it's not like cheating. This person is scared of the intensity. The thinking, they're very confused with where this relationship is going, with where this is going to end. They're very much confused and oh my god guys this person is uh, just uh, confused they're just confused they're sitting in the house not doing anything just thinking about you thinking about the memories that you shared with them and they may be even crying for uh, not understanding you or they are scared that they took the wrong decision okay so this person is a very very afraid and they're scared they're scared that they made the wrong decision they're scared that they went on in a wrong way i mean like this person is just in that internal conflict with themselves because they don't know whatever they did was the right thing or the wrong thing they're confused and there is a lot going on in this person's head right now right but there is definitely a reason why they did the what they did and yes guys this is what i can say with these cards and thank you all so much for joining me here bye guys and if you like this reading like comment and subscribe i will be coming live on the next saturday not tomorrow is saturday uh today is saturday i mean like you will be watching this today but uh I will. I would have already like uh, took the reading the day before you guys are watching it. So I'm taking it today, but then you will see it tomorrow. So that is on Saturday. Oh my God, guys! I'm getting confused now. So the next Saturday I will be coming live, and you guys can watch my live reading. I will be coming face to face live, and I hope you we can connect more that way. So I'm really hoping forward to it guys and i will see you all tomorrow bye guys so yes uh, now you're here to find out if this relationship is a twin flame really a twin flame soulmate connection or a karmic connection so let us find out guys i'm just going to be picking out three cards and you can select from three cards this is the first card the second card and the third card so you can select from these three cards what card draws most of your attention right uh, so I'm just going to hold these cards here for just uh, 10 to 15 seconds and you can choose what card draws your attention the most and that is the card that you choose Okay guys, oh my god, my hand hurts. Assuming that you have chosen a card, I'm just going to start off with the card number one. This is the card number one. Okay, so this is a twin flame connection that you're sharing with this person, whoever chose the card number one. This is a twin flame connection and this is a very very rare connection guys. It doesn't happen uh, frequently for others. It doesn't happen for anybody just like that. You know certain people uh, like it takes lifetimes after lifetimes for a uh, twin flame to bond with each other. And if you guys want to know more about the twin flame, I will give it in the description so that you can read that out. And for those of you who chose the card number two, right here, this is the card number two. This connection is a soulmate connection. For those of you who chose this card, this connection can occur frequently. And this soulmates are people who actually lift us up and actually who push us towards that spiritual journey, who helps us improve ourselves, who are really easy to talk to who we feel comfortable with they are because these people are like home to us so this person is your soulmate whoever you're thinking about and the last card guys the third card whoever chose this card your person is a karmic maybe this person is uh, having similar situations like you they helped you out of a situation they came into your life and um, gave a change into your life it 
really took some effort for this person to make you a spiritually higher person or this person came into your life and they changed you and that purpose in your life was just to change you just to bring that higher version of you and also guys uh, this relationship can be a little bit obsessive it can be addictive there can be too much possessiveness too much inside this love but you need to understand that uh, this is not your twin flame or your soulmate so this is a karmic this is a karmic situation a karmic person that you've actually connected with in a previous lifetime who is coming into this lifetime to clear out a karmic debt okay so this is all i see here and thank you all so much for joining me here guys i will see you all tomorrow with another video